Hey y'all, and welcome to a special edition of Politibrawl. We're doing things a little bit differently today, and it's for a very good reason. I'm about to show you the amount of delusion that has occurred amongst the entire Democrat Party in an attempt to defend a literal dementia patient in Joe Biden. We have seen in real time, and after the debate the other night, we have seen how far decline can go. We can see just how badly Joe Biden is presented to the American people. We thought that he might be hopped up on this amazing drug cocktail, but no, we got a man who would get lost walking around a nursing home. This is a sad day for America, and we have an entire party that's trying to prop up this man. And I'm about to show you the amount of delusion that is occurring in the Democrat Party. He is sharp, intensely probing, and detail-oriented and focused. This is a man who is sharp, who is on top of his game, who knows what's going on. This guy's tough. He's smart. He's on his game. His mental acuity is great. This is a very sharp president. This is a man that's on his game. President Biden is absolutely fit. There's, there's not a problem. He's sharp. He's fit. He's always answering questions. He is on the ball. He was sharper than anyone I've seen. To. He is sharp. Uh, he is on top of things. There's no doubt in my mind that the president is mentally fit for office. Biden has proven himself to have a strong memory. He's completely mentally sharp. He's at the top of his game. Well, maybe sharp as a butter knife. I... I... <coughs> Listen, I get it. On one hand, this is their guy. They have to support their president, all right? That's one of the jobs of the president, is to be the leader of your party. Granted, that is one of the dumbest jobs. Your job as president is to run the federal government. It should be that simple. But we have it in our minds, in, in the cultural zeitgeist, that the president is the most powerful person in this country. He's not. He can be one of the more powerful people, but more often than not, there are people that actually have more power than the president. But the president does run our government. He runs the CIA. He's supposed to run the CIA. He doesn't. Uh, he's supposed to run the FBI. He really doesn't. But he is supposed to run the Department of the Interior, the IRS. That is the job of a president. And for these people to look left and look right and look you in the eye via camera and tell you that he's sharp as a tack, that he's always answering questions, the debate that we saw last night proves the exact opposite. And to sit there and tell the American people that this isn't happening isn't just lying, it's half lying. It is removing the notion of truth and forgetting where you put it. Y'all, times are rough. Record inflation is still not under control. We have a president who doesn't know what planet he's on. And the Federal Reserve continues to make dumb decision after dumb decision after dumb decision. You can gamble on Wall Street all you want, but if you want to diversify and protect your wealth, you need to look into my friends over at Colonial Metals Group. These amazing experts understand how to keep your wealth safe and protected from the volatility of our current market. And there's even a great deal for first-time accounts. Free gold and silver-backed IRA accounts, insurance on whatever precious metals you happen to buy for five years, up to $7,500 worth of silver, and a nice safe for you to keep all this good stuff in. So go take a look at their website, link in the description below, or call the phone number below so you can talk personally to Paul Stone, CEO, and his amazing team of experts to protect your wealth today. There's a great line in Lawrence of Arabia, my personal favorite movie. A man who tells lies merely covers the truth. A person who tells half lies has forgotten where he's put it. That's what's going on here. They're telling you half lies because there are moments where Biden is lucid. I mean, that does happen when you have dementia. And you know what? We, we need to transition over to that. My great granddaddy, Tommy Paine, was a fairly sharp man who still had, uh, who had that old man's strength in him. Uh, I remember when he was 90 years old, he could still pitch to me as if, as if the, he was throwing to a full-grown adult. You, you know that he's an old man, 
but he's still out there throwing a baseball. That's actually a huge accomplishment. That's also why uh, Donald Trump referenced his uh, six handicap in golf. It shows that he still has the physical uh, acumen and acuity in order to function like a normal human being. Joe Biden clearly doesn't have this. And the reason I'm mentioning my great granddaddy is that he got Alzheimer's. And I watched him go from a pleasant, loving man who fathered three daughters Arguably across three generations, there's like a 20-year age gap uh, in, in uh, uh, my grand aunt, my, my, aunt, my aunts, and my grandmother. And this man was still strong as an ox at 90, but he got Alzheimer's. And he started flying off the handle. He started getting angry when he was normally collected. His mind started to go, and I got to watch that in real time. I now have two relatives suffering from dementia. Joe Biden does not have Alzheimer's. He has dementia. This is a man who just doesn't know what's going on. He's got the ability to remember things because those aren't the brain cells that are dying. The brain cells that he has lost, however, are the ones that tell him how to function properly. We saw this on full display the other night in the first and likely only presidential debate. We saw Trump handling question after question, handling it with ease. He did not once get angry. He did not once fly off the handle. But you could tell when you were watching Joe Biden, when he was trying to channel that inner anger in order to answer something that he was uncomfortable about. This happened about on a third of his questions. And then if you watch his body language, he was just looking left, looking right. He did not know where he was. He did not know how to handle certain responses. He would hear Trump tell the truth and then get mad that the truth was in fact reality and he couldn't do anything about it because he lacked the mental abilities to do so. And that is a huge problem for our country. We currently do not have a actual sitting president. The person who runs the show is his wife, Jill Biden, and their chiefs of staff. That isn't in itself a huge problem for the country. The problem is we have a media, we have politicians, and we have a government that is complacent in lying to you and telling you only half-truths about your president. They are doing this in order to protect themselves. And you know, there are a few tells in this video. For instance, the lack of eye contact, the looking this way looking you straight on, head in the face, and then looking elsewhere when you answer. That's usually a good liar's tell. I should know. I'm Hal Slytherin, y'all. If y'all know what that means, we're good at lying. We're good at manipulation, but we also care about the rules at work. I know that's a Harry Potter reference that throws off a, a lot of people, but the reason I was Hal Slytherin, because in my youth, to my parents, I was a compulsive liar and I kept track of those lies in order to keep up with the delusion. I know what these people are doing from personal experience. For instance, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, usually the higher up Democrats are very adept at this game. The ability to throw you off while making it look like they're telling you the truth. The lower level Democrats, Mayorkas, you can tell that they're lying. Their body language is showing that they're not confident in their answers. If you're not confident in your answers, if you're looking elsewhere and you're saying something that you briefly hesitate on, it's usually a tell that you're lying or worse, you're telling half truths. The reason Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer don't ever do this is because they've mastered the game. And this is why I'm very terrified if I ever find myself in office because I don't want to lie to the American people. I'm willing to, I was willing to lie to my own parents to achieve my goals. And that's exactly what the Democrats are doing here. So I am telling you what dementia looks like. I am telling you that Biden is not all there. And you, you've seen this. But I'm also warning you that you have people that are lying to you. And I'm equipping you with the knowledge to point out the lies. That's how it's happening. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi are masters at this craft. Lower level Democrats, not quite as much, but they are lying to you. Joe Biden has full blown dementia. Our country is not run by him. It is run by Jill and her staff. 
And ultimately, you just saw people trying to tell you what is factually untrue. They are not to be trusted with the levers of power. This is an absolutely insane discussion that we're having. And I hate the fact that we've reached this point. Let's do better in 2024. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.